Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a Kleinlisch here on my cask. It's from the vintage 1998, and it's an independent bottled Kleinlisch. So there is a company not owned by the distillery or the proprietors of the distillery. Um, which bought casks, matured them for their own time, and then filled them uh, in the bottles. And this one uh, is a mixture of two casks. The independent bottler, Signatory Vintage, quite often mixes two casks together to bring some harmony into a filling. Um, and that there are more bottles available for the connoisseur so that the connoisseur can say, well, I'm, I like this bottle, I want to have a second one. And then the dealer says, oh, I'm sorry, all sold. No, there are more bottles available. So here they are 769 bottles out of two hogsheads, 2465 and 2466. And from those two consecutive numbers, uh, you can see that Signatory Vintage is one of the big independent bottlers who is able to buy casks in a lorry load. So 40 casks, 50 casks, and there are Kleinlichs from Signatory Vintage uh, which are filled in a decanter, for example. So there are more casks from this time, 1998, 1999, um, uh, where the independent bottler can select from. And this is the difference between uh, Signatory Vintage as a big independent bottler and all the smaller ones which are able just to have one cask for bottling. There's no selection. So this one is selected. This one is uncolored, but uh, it's chill filtered and chill filtration might not be that bad as I found out in a scientific investigation about chill filtration. So chill filtration is very hype, is very prominent in the moment, 2014, but uh, chill filtering might not be that bad for particular uh, combination of age and cask, it might be preferable to unchill filtered whiskies. So this has 43 percent. Kleinlisch 1998, 15 years old, distilled on February 18th, 1998 and bottled on January, January 8th, 2014. Don't mix this bottle up with the silvery shining signatory vintage bottlings. They are these unchill filtered whiskies and these are the chill filtered and I had several of those before and they are wonderful because they are old. No eight, nine, ten years old but always 15, 16, 18, 20 years old for reason, reasonable money. That's the advantage of these bottles with this copper colored bottom of those tubes. A whiff of smoke and it's very fast it's gone and in the back there is some some seashore some seaweed some Dutine, probably. It's an intense aroma from the sea. And these fruity characters you very often find in, in whiskies from the islands. You can't find it here. Hmm. 
definitely more taste <coughs> than aroma and very intense on your tongue and the cask is coming some oakiness a little sweetness it's appearing and then going over to, to oakiness becoming slightly drier spice still on your tongue going backward not bitter no but a a remembrance of bitter bitterness ha <laughs> ha hmm, close a little bit drier a little bit of smoke and this seashore aroma some tang yeah this is a more on more centered on the taste and less attacking in the aroma it starts slowly then you have your peak in the taste and the aftertaste not too long just vanishing in the moment so the impact is in the taste. Ah, very difficult. So every every time you want to have an impact on your tongue, be careful. Drink in moderation. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. There's more to come. Stay tuned. There will be some signatory vintage coming up. And uh, feel free to share this video with your friends and discuss this bottle with us in our forum on whiskey.com.